Guyana is currently observing Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Professional boxer Kishan Simon spoke on the issue. More from Sasha Ramsaran. Professional boxer Kishan Simon of Rose Hall Town Quarantine, during an interview with this newscast, discussed the issue of domestic violence, which is currently a widespread issue in Guyana. Mr. Simon spoke briefly on his experiences witnessing domestic violence as a child growing up and highlighted some of the factors that influences this behavior. Actually, I grew up witnessing domestic violence and I was never, like, I could never stand there and see someone hurt a woman or stuff like that. Actually, at age nine, I was walking home from school one afternoon, from lessons one afternoon, and I saw a guy like beating on his woman. So I told him, I said, listen, you don't have to beat her. You know, you can just talk to her. She's going to listen to you. And he told me, he said, you know, if you wasn't that young, I'd probably stab you. I'm like, okay, but still, you should talk to your woman instead of beating up on her. And, you know, something that it's all about education. We need to educate educate our kids, we need to educate our communities because we keep allowing this to happen and then it seems like it's a normal something. It seems like it's okay for some to do, for everyone to do. You know, you get something wrong, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that. This makes you a man. This makes... No, it doesn't. It really doesn't. Violence isn't the answer. You know, some, some things are better... Some things are better, like, with words. The way you talk to people and stuff like that, it says a lot. And you can, you can get so far in just the way you talk to people. Ignorance. Like, some people think, okay, they drink, they smoke, they think that makes them a man or a woman. Then you come home and you want to you wanna establish that kind of authority in your home or something, or even in your environment. And then it goes like, you know what, I need to step up a little bit more because we need to understand that two things don't stay at one level, that's corruption and ignorance. So we need to change the mind state of people to actually correct that. Subsequent to his comments, he went on to make a few recommendations that can be implemented to combat the issue of domestic violence. I think a lot more can be done. Like. They need to probably put some people in our communities to actually look over what's going on. You know, have like regular meetings or something so you actually find out what's really happening in the communities. Because if you allow people to just slip away with certain stuff one time, then they keep doing it over and over and over and it becomes a chain reaction. So it doesn't stop from there. It doesn't stop. Somebody needs to step up and do something. And oh, one thing, you know. What I think people need to do, like, uh, they need to stop keeping things, like, to themselves, like, stuff that you should be talking, speaking out about, stop keeping it a secret, you know, you need to end the silence. Then further went on to offer a few words of advice to prospective young couples who are planning to get married. First of all, I would say plan your life properly, you know, make sure you set good foundations so what you want to do, don't just run about doing whatever, because... You just want to do it, you know. You've got a plan. You've got to have goals. You've got to have. You've got to set goals and work towards them. Y you and your partner. You've got to build. It's not a, just about being there and say, "Oh, you know what? This is just my partner." Or something like that. You've got to build. You've got to set a future that. You've got to set goals that you want to work towards and build together with them. Other than that, don't do nothing stupid and then. Five years from now, you're going to be blaming the system. Oh, the system, there's a system that the system is already oppressive. Don't aid in oppression yourself. The professional boxer concluded by reminding men that they have a responsibility to protect the women in society from acts of domestic violence. Domestic Violence Awareness Month is currently being observed, and various organizations are reaffirming their dedication to forging a world where no one suffers the hurt and hardship that domestic violence causes. Sasha Ramsaran reporting for Channel 8 News.